Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your hands on a perfect condition elk pelt, guys. And I've already got a couple of these elk in front of me now, so let me go and show you the exact location where I'm at. So this is the location. I would say anywhere past these tracks here. So anywhere up here is the is the place you want to look for them. Uh, they're very, very common up here, but they can also be found on the opposite side up here quite often as well. And I've also seen some down in these areas, but it's usually the mountain area. So I'd say anywhere here and also on the other side. I see a lot up here. This is where I'd recommend, hence the reason I am up here hunting these guys. So this is the place to go for them, in my opinion. Now let's talk for a second. Oh, wow, this guy is coming towards me now. I might get run over here because I don't want to scare off the other ones either. So I might just take the hit, to be honest with you. Um, anyway, as for the gun we're going to be using today, it's going to be a long scoped rifle. Is that the elk there? Rocky Mountain Bull Elk, yeah, in condition. Oh, this guy's coming straight towards us. Hey, man, I'm just standing here. Be friendly. So let's move towards this elk that we're going for. Because we can see him in the distance here. Like I said, use a long scope rifle and not to spook him is always a good way to go about it, in my opinion. We'll go around to about here. I think this should be a good place for a shot now. And we'll give it a call for it to pick its head up. And right between the eyes, as always... And you're going to knock them out, hopefully. Wow, sometimes it doesn't look like they're going down. It does take them a second to go down, but we have managed to knock him out in one. And yeah, let's hope he's still of the mint condition. And here's the three star, there we go. So let's go ahead and skin him. Get the knife out and do the skin in. And that is how you're going to get a hold of one. It's the long range rifle. And just finish off the skinning animation here. Get the horns as well, because you do use the horns to craft um, with Pierce in camp. So you want to take that to him. And there you go. That's that one done. Let's call over our horse and put this on there. And we have managed to get ourselves the elk. So this is where I'm going to end this one, guys. As you can see, I've got the perfect elk skin. Let's go and stow it on there. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always. And take it easy.